Okay, so in today's video we're going to have a look at substitution. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to get started. So this video here, uh, we're going to look at substituting positive and negative values in, but this first one here is just looking at some positive values. So it says work out the value of 5x plus 2y when x is 3 and y is 2. So 5x means 5 lots of x, and 2y means 2 lots of y. So if x is 3, all we need to do is sub that in, and when y is 2, we'll sub that in as well. Now I'm going to sub it in using brackets, and I do like this way. I use it quite a lot throughout some of my other videos, so I'm going to stick with that. So when I write 5 lots of x, I write that 5 lots of 3 in a bracket like that, as x is 3 over here. So that is then added to 2 lots of y, which is 2 lots of 2. So when we've got these numbers in a bracket, we've just got to multiply those out to find out what their values are. So 5 lots of 3 is 15 add 2 lots of 2 which is 4 and 15 plus 4 is 19 so there's our answer that is the value of 5x plus 2y there with these values so I'll look at another one okay so work out the value of 2x plus 3y when x is negative 4 and y is 5 and this is where I find writing these brackets really does start to help now so 2 lots of negative 4 2 lots of negative 4 add 3 lots of 5 and again, now we can get rid of the brackets now that we've substituted them in. So two lots of minus four is minus eight. I'm gonna to add to that three lots of five, which is 15. And then we just need to complete the sum. So negative eight add 15 is seven. So our final answer there's seven. So look at one more before you have a go. Okay, so this question says p equals 3x minus 6y. So we're working out the value of p when x is equal to negative two and y is equal to 0 0.5. So again, we're just going to sub these pieces in using our brackets. So we get 3 lots of, and we've got negative 2 in place of x. And then we're going to take away 6 lots of, and we've got 0 0.5 in place of y. So again, we just need to expand these little brackets, and then we're just going to simplify it all. So we have 3 lots of negative 2, and 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. And then we can look at this in two different ways. We've got 6 times 0 0.5, and we're going to take that away. Or we've got negative 6 times 0 0.5. Either way, we get the same thing written down. So we'll just do take away. And then 6 times 0 0.5, and 6 times a half is equal to 3. So we're going to take away 3. So we have negative 6 as our starting point. We're going to take away 3, and that's going to leave us with negative 9. So our final answer for this one is negative 9. And there we go, that is our final answer for that question. Okay, let's have a look at some questions for you to have a go at. So pause the video there, have a go at working out both of these two. Okay, so answers for these ones. So we have three lots of negative three, and we're adding to that five lots of four. There we go. So three lots of negative three is negative nine, five lots of four is 20, so it's negative nine, add 20, which is 11. And there's our first one. On to the right, we have two lots of five, two lots of x, take away three lots of negative two. And if we get rid of these brackets here, so two times five is 10, take away three lots of negative two, so negative six. So we've just got to be careful here. Now we could have looked at that as negative three times negative six and straight off written that as plus six, or we can look at it as take away the negative six. Obviously remembering here, that when you've got a minus, uh, minus a negative, that turns into a plus. So it's 10 plus 6, and 10 plus 6 is 16. So you just got to be very, very careful with your symbols here as well, not forgetting all those uh, rules for adding, adding and subtracting negatives. Right, let's have a look at something different. Okay, so work out the value of 2x plus xy when x is 5 and y is negative 3. Okay, so how are we going to approach this? Let's just sub things in as we, as we, as we uh, did on the previous questions. We've got two lots of five, add, and then we've got x, y, which means x times y, or x, which is five, multiplied by y, which is negative three. So five lots of negative three. Again, you could put a time sign in between them. But I'm just going to stick with using the brackets. So I, I, I like this method. So hopefully, if you haven't seen this before, it's something you can adopt. So working this out, two times five is 10. Add, and then we've got five lots of negative three. Add negative 15. There we go, five times negative three is negative 15. So five plus negative 15, again, not forgetting your uh, rules here, that's going to be a takeaway, adding a negative. So it's 10 take away 15 which becomes negative five.
There we go. So just watch out when you've got to sub the value in in two places. Look, we had to sub x in here and here, and we had x y coming in here. So just remembering that there's a time sign in between them. Let's have a look at one more before we have a go. Okay, so we've got some squares going on in this. We've got work out the value of two x squared and then take away y. So this is where the brackets really come into their own because when we sub this negative three, and in particular if you're using a calculator, it's very important that you put them in a bracket. So we've got two lots of and then we've got negative three squared, take away y. Oh, sorry, and y is given to us, isn't it? It's 10, so take away 10. Okay, so the first thing that I'd wanna do is work out what this value of the bracket is. So it's negative three squared, which means negative three multiplied by negative three. And a negative times a negative makes it positive, so the answer's nine. So actually what we've got in the bracket there is nine, okay? So once we square that, it becomes nine. So we've got, we can rewrite this. We've got two lots of nine, take away 10. There you go. And if you, if you check that on the calculator, if you type in negative three squared on the calculator, it will give you the answer negative nine. And actually the answer is positive nine. And that's where you've got to make sure you put the brackets in because the calculator will then understand that it's a negative number and it doesn't want you to just square the three and then stick a negative next to it. Okay, so you can always try that out on your calculator, but it will only give you this value of positive nine, which we know the answer is if it's in a bracket there. So two lots of nine take away 10 is 18 take away 10 and 18 take away 10 just gives us the answer eight. So be very, very careful when you're doing these. Make sure that you just write it out very carefully. And remember, and it's two lots of here, two times that value of negative three squared, which is nine, so it's two lots of nine. Okay, some for you to have a go at. Okay, so pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so here we go, three x minus x, y. So we have three lots of two take away, and then we have two multiplied by negative three or two lots of negative three. So if we expand this out now, three lots of two is six, take away two lots of negative three, which is negative six. And then again, we get this double negative scenario here. So don't forgetting they turn into a plus. So we have six plus six, which is 12. And there's our final answer for that one. Let's look at the second one. We've got the squared going on on this one again. So we've got three lots of x squared, so negative two, squared plus seven. And let's work out what we've got here. So negative two squared is minus two times minus two. So this is just four. So we've got three lots of four, add seven. Let's work that out. So three lots of four is 12. Add seven to that gives us the answer, 19. Okay, there's those two. So I've got one more question for you to have a look at. Okay, so here it is. Have a go at this question, pause the video, and we'll go over the answer in a sec. Okay, so work out the value of two x squared minus three x when x is negative four. Let's see what we get here. So we have two lots of negative four squared take away three lots of negative four. And let's just work through this nice and slow. So negative four squared becomes 16, negative four times negative four. So let's just rewrite that. We have two lots of 16 take away three lots of negative four and three lots of negative four is negative 12. So take away, let's just write it out slowly to start with. Let's just do three lots of negative four. And now we can get rid of these brackets on this next step. So two lots of 16 is 32. And we're gonna take away three lots of negative four, which is negative 12. There we go, so we've got our double negative going on again. So that's gonna be a plus. So we have 32 plus 12 and 32 plus 12 is 44. There we go, seems like a lot of steps there. Some of them you might be able to do in your head, but I think it's really important just to make sure that you keep it all really nice and clear so you don't make any mistakes when you're doing these sorts of questions. But that's the end of the video. So if you found that useful, if it was helpful, please like, please comment, please subscribe. I'll see you for the next one.